Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to graph planes in 3D using GeoGebra 3D. And so we're going to start with the equation of the plane in standard form or Cartesian form, however you'd like to call it. And so this is literally the easiest way to graph a plane. All you have to do is type the equation in as it is. And you can see that as I start to type, it starts to, it starts to draw the plane as it sees it. And that's as difficult as it is. You can see it's labeled the plane A, and we can then move on to our next type of plane to graph. So next we're going to graph a plane through three points. So we enter our points in first, and because we're entering points, we use capital letters. So you can see our three points there. And now we go to the tool menu and we slide down to planes. We choose plane through three points, it says select three points, and so we do that. And you can see it's labeled that plane uh, B. And if we want, we can change that plane's color. And so we have our two planes. And lastly, we're going to see how to graph a plane written in terms of its vector equation. So to do the vector equation of the plane, you have to use the plane function here. And so that's relatively simple. You just start by typing the word plane, and it actually tells you what form it requires the information. And so we want uh, the form of a point and two vectors. And so we're going to do that. And you'll note that we have to tell the function that we're using a vector. Watch your commas here. And as I finish that, you'll see that it's actually generated the standard and Cartesian equation for the plane. Now you'll note that it's rewritten the function uh, as uh, the cross product of those two vectors and turned it into a perpendicular plane, but this is in fact the plane that we were looking for. Now, one thing I suggest is to actually do that in a little bit more informative way. So rather than type it directly into the plane formula, I'm going to delete that. And I'm first going to actually plot my point and my vector, knowing that a vector requires lowercase and the second vector. And now when I use the plane function, I have my point and my vector and it plots that. Let's change the color first. Is now I see these two vectors and I see that these vectors are parallel to the plane and I have the point on the plane P showing that that is the plane that we are defining. And so those are some of the ways that you can plot planes in GeoGebra.